highly unsustainable. Industrial ecology is, is basically the science of sustainability. We have to very quickly develop a more sustainable civilization. The longer we wait, the more difficult it will be to make the necessary changes. And industrial ecology, in my view, is the most effective way of achieving sustainable development. I suppose the most challenging aspect of industrial ecology would be that it's a very new field and it's very difficult to uh, define exactly what it is. Industrial ecology is the science of developing industrial systems and services like tourism such that they imitate nature. Industrial ecology is special because it gives you an interdisciplinary uh, approach to problems. Uh, typically coming out of a bachelor's degree you are taught one way of thinking uh, and industrial ecology gives you the vantage point, if you want, of different aspects of, of, of a problem. My biggest success is that it's opened my eyes and made me see all these different aspects of, of a sustainability problem and what it actually takes to solve it. We have 13 different nationalities in our class, uh, 20 students and 13 different nationalities. It's really nice to work together with other cultures. I'm really just amazed every single week, and I, I really don't get tired of this, at, at how fast technology develops. And we are people from diverse specialties, so I can hear the point of view of an economist or of an engineering, or even the point of view of an economist from the States or an economist from Europe, which may, may have very different perspectives. So uh, this is the most important thing. I have uh, heard questions I've never think of in lectures or observations that seemed out of place, but then they are real. Well, this algae project is typically industrial ecology because you use waste streams. So the idea is that you use uh, CO2 as a, as a nutrient source and you also use waste heat to produce a new product. So you're closing your cycles and uh, in doing so you uh, aim to be more sustainable. I think that was part of what made it multidisciplinary, that we could include different kinds of analysis. So we did an energy analysis and also a stakeholder analysis. So how these actors, what kind of knowledge they have and uh, how they think about sustainability and what it means to them. Coming from the starting point that the shrimp are basically fed through waste heat from another company just, uh, just across the road, we can use waste processes to reinstate or, or restart new processes that are good for producing new products and thus economic benefit. So you can see that where waste was a dead end, a cradle to grave cycle, you can leverage that waste flow to produce new economic products, new businesses, new deliverables for the consumer. Why is communication so important to industrial ecology? Not so much the education towards industrial ecology, but industrial ecology itself. It's ultra important because uh, the ideas of industrial ecology are not widely known, and they may be to many uh, people, they may be controversial. And well, how do you get controversial ideas accepted um, and achieved within society? And that requires persuading people that it's uh, necessary and useful and then their advantage to use an industrial ecology approach.
I personally, I really enjoy working with them. They're fun to work with. <laughs>